Yeah, all right then. So we're ready again. So let's have a look. So F equals MA. But A is now dV dt. So I've got F as a function of V. So 2 over 2V plus 1 is equal to a mass of 2 times by dV by dt. There. Right then. Oh no, it's 3, sorry, not 2. 3. There. So V's on the right, T's on the left. So I've got 3 dt is 2 lots of 2V plus 1 dV all integrated. So I've got an integral of 3 dt and the integral of 4v plus 2 dv. So if I integrate it, I've got 3t is equal to, that would be 4v squared over 2 plus 2v plus c. So it tells us uh, initially moving with a velocity of 2. So t equals 0, v equals 2. So 0 is 2 lots of 2 squared plus 2 lots of 2 plus c. So that's going to be 12 on the right. Take it over. Uh, I've got minus 12 for c. If you use a completing pack, they switch it around. So they'd have the 12 on the other side. So I've got 3t is 2v squared plus 2v minus 12. The completed pack has the minus 12 on the other side of the plus 12. Don't really matter. You don't really care. So then it says, find the time for it to reach a velocity of 6. So I want to find t when v is 6. So I've got 3 lots of t is 2 lots of 6 squared plus 2 lots of 6 minus 12. So that's going to be... 72 there, I guess, because there's two surface must be, mustn't it? And then divide through by 3 is going to give us 24 seconds. Job done. What do you reckon to that? That's not too bad, is it? And it's 2 minutes 24. This initial split up we've got to think about because you might have something that's a little bit more complex. Right, stopping there for the next one.